Hello boys and girls, today is, what is today? 12 August 2020 and uh, I see the, uh, back on the 3rd we bought this as my nurse uh, bought one of these several weeks ago and for himself and then his sister liked it so we bought him another one and then he recently after getting it last a few days ago he brought it back Monday yesterday and said he wanted it clean so or I'm sorry Monday this today is Wednesday so yeah Wednesday so anyway without further ado let me then here are the other videos and then of course now here are the wait what is that okay that was a picture I, I okay that was a picture I needed to know where that plug went so I had to bring that up but I'm going to take you now through the beginning of all of these uh, pictures that I have here. Let me get the keyboard handy. Easier to do that. All right, so, all right, great. So there's the, all right, so there's the front of it with the tops open. Then here's the front of it, okay. And then here's the bottom, okay. And uh, <clears throat> this is a Sony CFD F10, okay. And there's the back side of it upside down and here is there's four screw holes across the top there okay and then um, and you there's okay I didn't show it but let's see here um, here's a screw and then there's two more screws one in here and one in here that you have to remove to be able to take the top off okay so so then you take the top off and the top pops out and then I just start taking pictures so Here's a, a picture of what it looks like when you open it up. Then here's a picture of the uh, that side, and again, that, that was the uh, picture I needed to have there. This is uh, the tape deck side, okay, it, you know, it's got a fully functioning tape deck, okay. And then <clears throat> it's just the center of the unit, right, and it's just another picture here, and you have to uh, remove, there's two screws here where you can barely see the one screw there and one screw there to remove this thing here, this uh, ribbon cable, okay, and then there's that picture again. And here I've removed the, uh, the two screws, ribbon cable, that's why I have the uh, magnetic pickup for the screw, because you don't want to drop things in there. And then here's the uh, upside down of both pieces, so I've removed all the ribbons and plugs and such. So here I'm taking another picture of all the plugs. There's a ribbon cable that goes here, there's the uh, power for the cassette deck that goes there another ribbon cable here and just lots of little things you have to unplug okay so again just taking another picture all right and then um, then the sole issue with this was that the controls were dirty so I had to take the unscrew these uh, five or six screws here and uh, remove this and then uh, blow these off as you can see they're dirty they got dust on them and such all right so get the dust off and Put a little bit of a lubricant, and this switch was uh, dirty as well, so you can see that's pretty dirty, right? Okay, so, and those are the switches underneath it, okay? So it's a, there it says right there, Sony CFD F10, so you know which one that is. There it is, the switch has been cleaned, okay? And then we, uh, then we go on to the function switch here, which is the, the tape radio and CD, okay? So we cleaned those, cleaned all of them. This is what I use to clean, so if in case you don't know, that's what I use is uh, Puretronics uh, Contact Puretronics Contact Cleaner and Lubricant. And I, I use uh, just any old canned air to blow out the dust with, right? Okay. Here's the underside of, well, anyway, inside the rest of the unit. Uh, here is the, that's not a good picture. That's a better picture. So here is the amp chip that it runs with. Okay, it takes two of them. I haven't researched it, so you can do that at your, at your content. I didn't know, but this does have three speakers, but only two are driven. Uh, this is a passive radiator. Okay, and here is the um, it's a seven watt six ohm speaker. Okay, uh, and then the next door is a, is a piezo, so there's no anyway. And then here's a, again the center speaker, or center passive I should say. See how there's no magnet attached? Alright. 
And then you have your other uh, other sides. Okay. Then we have now this is your uh, this is where the radio is for the FM antenna and the ferret bar antenna. So my next picture is I simply dropped the camera down in this hole and took a close up. There it is. So there is the ferret bar antenna and the assorted. Uh, tuning. Mind you, this has electronic tuning, so it does it differently. This is the power supply, and you'll have to, you know, made in China, and I don't know what all that means, but there it is. That's the circuit board uh, for the power supply, okay? And this is just a bottom picture of the inside of both of that, okay? And then this is just an edge view of what you look, what you, what you could see there, right? And then here's another view, just trying to you know see across all of that. I don't know why this uses a double magnet, one on the outside and one around. I don't understand that, but okay. That's just a center speaker, passive radiator thing again. Um, and uh, let's see, let me just race through. Oops, sorry. Okay. Um, this also has a base port, so it has a passive radiator in front and a base port in the back, only on one side. And the base port only goes for one speaker because it's actually sealed off in the front. Um, sealed off in the front. Do I have a picture showing that? Um, well. Okay, when you take this cover apart, this, this right here, there's a wall, and then the base port is, well, I didn't, okay, there's the base port. So the base port is on this side, there's the base port there, and so this from here to here for this one speaker goes to that, and then this is a passive radiator with, driven by this woofer here. So I don't know how they intend to make that work to get your, uh, this side, is ported only through the base port in the front, and this side has a uh, a base reflex port in the rear. I just thought that was interesting design of uh, like that. So, and that's all I know. So now let me pick this thing up, wide this thing out, and see where. So wide out, all right. Wide out. Okay, great. So now here is the model. I have it plugged in already. And I've got, oh, here, let me do it like this, just, here it is in my lap, okay. And I already have a, um, here's a CD in there, you can see that, it's uh, Shawn Michaels there, right, okay. And uh, put that down, hit the power, put it on CD, tell it to play, okay, and then give it a second to, Screwed up. So we got tunes. So I'm not gonna sit here and sell the music, so it will skip. Oops. Here's the next song. Okay, so that works. Hit stop on this, kick this out, or just wait. Take that out. Right now I have a tape here that I really don't know what's on it. It's just a, I got it from somewhere and it's nothing on it, but it's got something on it. So we just pop open the cassette player and throw it in like that and then hit play and put it on tape. So we've got, I don't know what that is, but there it is. Hit stop, eject. Fast forward and run work as well. Okay. And then lastly, let's play the radio. So let's see here. Well, <laughs> there we go. And you put it on band. And uh, let's see, you hit the tuning. It's scrolling up. So you clocked in at 68 miles so, an hour. And our airports? And if you push and hold it, it'll scan through your stations, like that. And, uh, of course you got Megabase, and, uh, 
buy a skin of Lost Tim. Yeah, it's mega expand. But for you right now, five ninety five for the heart scan plus the body scan. Off. And if you call them today, you get the carotid On. artery neck scan for and stroke risk free. Nine seven two seven three nine twenty eight forty. Nine seven two seven three nine twenty eight forty. Tell them you want the uh, Mark Davis Show special. Nine seven two seven three nine twenty eight. All right, so I'm just turning it off the day, but I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun. I gotta move on to the next Moonbox project. Thanks for watching. Good day. Bye bye. Bzz.